everyone. Fisherman Ryan is going to show y'all tackle box organization. The crate baits and jig heads. So what I have now is I've got a. Oh, I never. I didn't know I even still had this. Hmm, I didn't know I still had this. I've got a nice little lunker frog. I've caught a lot. I've caught a lot of fish on this frog. But what I've seemed to notice is with the super long skirt right here, you might want to trim it just a little bit. You want about to trim about that much off because I've seen I've had tons of strikes on it, but they've just grabbed the tail and pulled it under. They haven't grabbed the whole thing. I have a feeling if you cut some of the skirt off, that it would actually grab the whole frog and not just the tail of the frog. So that's just a good tip. I cut some of the skirt off of all my frogs. So yeah, that is this. I've got this little rooster tail that's actually my cousin's. Um, I've been meaning to give it back to him. And um, once again, go subscribe to his channel. Um, his channel, once again, is called Zachary Harris. He's got eight subscribers. Um, now, um, what we've got is, I've got this, um, Booyah Shad Imitation White Spinnerbait. This is, I've caught plenty of fish on this spinnerbait right here. This is like, the, this is the juice right here. This is the juice. Um, I've got a little crawdad crankbait. This is, I've caught a decent sized crappie on this one right here. I didn't even know crappie ate crawdads, but I've caught a decent sized crappie on that one. It's in like a tannish brown color. Um, I actually got this one out at Powhatan Lakes. I got um, little, once again, another little crawfish imitation red. Nice little red crawfish imitation square bill. Dives three to five feet. Three to five feet. Nice little square bill. Now we're moving on to my jerk baits and my gotcha plugs and my whopper poppers. Right here, I've got a little Lucky Craft jerkbait. Uh, got it at Walmart for like a dollar and some change. But yeah, I'm dropping stuff today, people. Once again, it's another one of them days. Can't hold nothing. But Lucky Craft jerkbait. Got it for a dollar at Walmart. Caught a couple bluefish off of it, as you can see. I caught a nice bluefish on it and he bit the lip off of the jerk bait so now it's basically a top water. But this is one of my favorite right here for bluefish. Nice little red and white gotcha plug. Basic basic tube. Basic tube with some hooks on it. I caught a, a nice Spanish mackerel off of it. If you go check out my saltwater video from about a month ago You'll see that um, Spanish mackerel I caught. I caught him, caught him on this exact gotcha plug right here. Well, if you go check out my saltwater video, it was in that video back there. But you know, now we're on to my whopper popper. I got a nice little whopper popper. I forget the name of it. Um, yeah, little whopper popper right here. Twelve dollars caught. Plenty of fish on it. I caught two fish in one day on it. Actually, take that back. I caught three fish. That right here. Now we're moving on to the jig heads. I got three different types of jig heads. I've got small, medium, and large. Right here, I got a small red jig head right here. Nice little small red. Y'all see that? A little small red jig head. I rig like little crappie grubs and stuff like that up on this hook. Works really well. It's super sharp as you can see it. It digs into my nail pretty well, so yeah, that. I have got this little shad white color. It's like little shad white. I rig like little crappie minnows and stuff like that, little live minnows on this jig head, stuff like that. Put it under a bobber. Caught some nice crappie on it. Um, and now we're on to my flounder jig heads that I use a couple different types of baits on it. I got the um mullet imitation white with the little eyes on it and i like to pair that up with the mu swimming mullet i just pair it up with a swimming mullet just like that and that it goes 
that is now good for my crankbaits and stuff. Now we're on to my hooks and swivels and stuff like that. Alrighty. We have got oh lordy, I'm almost out of J hooks. I've got next time I go to Walmart I gotta pick up a couple packs of J hooks. So right here I got two number four or uh, this one's a number six this one's a number four number four and a number six j hook so yeah those are good for like uh skates sharks stuff like that um um i got a couple uh, a couple drop shot hooks right there nice little drop shot hooks i've got some ten aughts Gamagatsu circle hooks right here. I use these when I go out on the James and stuff like that for them big blue catfish. Stuff like that. Make sure they um, get good and hooked inside the mouth. And then I got right here. Right here I've got some four odd Gamagatsu circle hooks. These right here I use for like pond catfish and lake catfish. Alrighty, and now I got some 100 pound swivels right here. I use this uh, once again. Go check out my saltwater video. I use this right here. This 100 pound swivel works like a champ. So, go make sure I got, once again, I got these at Walmart for like a uh, dollar. So, next time you're in Walmart and you want to go saltwater fishing, make sure you pick up some of these. I'm going to do another video on how you rig these up. Um. Right here, I've got a 50-pound swivel, I think. Once again, just a good old swivel. Once again, I use this in my saltwater videos. So, I'm going to be having some more saltwater videos coming up soon. Um, in August, I'm going to be going to the beach and um, for the week. And I'm going to be getting some good saltwater footage down there. We're heading down to South Carolina for the, um, we're going down to Myrtle Beach for the week. So, be sure you turn on post notifications so you get, um, see some of them videos we're gonna be fit one night me and my cousin are gonna be going out on the beach and we're gonna put some spikes in the sand and we're gonna try to catch some sharks off the beach so that right there is my um salt water um hook box and stuff like that so now we're on to my weights my weights and my sabikis right here i've got um first up i've got three 12 ounce sinker leads right here. Got three 12 ounce sinker leads. The reason I like to use 12 ounce for salt water is because down at Myrtle Beach and Virginia Beach, the current is super rough going on the pier and stuff like that. And I want to make sure that um, I have a heavy enough lead that it'll actually sink down into the sand and the current won't pick it up and try to wash it away. So, yeah. That right there, that's my 12 ounce leads. These right here are my um, 4 ounce leads right here. I got a little 4 ounce, um, I forget what type of weight you call this, but yeah, that's the first one. Then I got a 4 ounce pyramid lead right here. I like to use these when I like lake fish for catfish. I like to rig them up on a hollow rig and stuff like that. And right here, I got a couple little 1 ounce leads. I got a one ounce cannonball lid and then I got two more um two more cannonball lids yeah got three cannonball lids and another one of them lids I forget the name of it's a number another little one ounce lid and got a little catfish bill a little catfish bill I've got um, a laser sharp Sabiki rig. I use these for pinfish when I try to catch like live bait. And I've got a Sabiki professional quality bait catching rig, ultra sharp hooks. I use these. As you can see, it's got the extra small hooks. I use them for thread fin, um, uh, do 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 do, pinfish stuff like that. Um, this one is a actually a bluefish sabiki where you can catch like bluefish spanish mackerel and stuff like that as you can see it's got the bigger hooks on it and yeah this is another i got this at bass pro shops for like eight bucks so along with this one i got this one at eight bucks um for this one i got for like what 
two bucks maybe at Cabela's. Yeah, that's my weights and my sabikis and stuff like that. So, um, now we're gonna go on to the type of line I like to rig my reels up with. Um, for my big Shimano Tiagra 230, I like to use um, um, I like to use 50. I got two rolls of 50 and um, one spool of 12. Hello everyone, I want you to check out my nephew Logan's channel and his family. And his channel name is Logan and the Crazy Crew. Like and subscribe and hit that bell.